All right, went into the greenhouse a couple of days ago. It's been closed because of all the rain. Um, it's not really watertight, but it's not really wet enough if you actually look. Then I noticed there's a mold on potatoes. A lot of these have rotted. As you can see, I'm not going to squeeze them because they are very, very soft. All of them. I'm going to have to go through these. These ones are the pen and javelin. So I'll lift the trays out. They have been stored down there with the others. The onions have gone soft now as well. But lots of these. This one is still hard, so and this one, but if I get this one, I don't you can hear it. Rotten. Same with this one. You can also see the bubbles on this focus. Just rotted away. These are my spears, so it looks like all the seed potatoes I tried to save have rotted. So that's them two trays. And I'll just get this other one from down here. These are the shallots, but yeah, these have all survived. Very, very odd. I can't understand why some potatoes have done that and so on. So, down one of the garden centres um, before they found all these rotten, so I've got to try and find some more potatoes. Maybe some of these could be saved. Maybe well, these, maybe some of these can be saved. These will be fine. But I've got some rocket while I was out. I hope to get some of these that have rotted away now. Thing is though, as you all know, garden centers are starting to sell out. Online is starting to sell out, but I think online I've noticed a lot of my prices are extortionate recently. So Wilkie's might be a case of Let's see what they've got left. But look how damp it has been in here. Look how green the compost is. I don't know this because I've been storing my compost in there. But I've had the windows and the door open yesterday and the day before to try and dry out this because all this lot in here was wet. As you all know, we've got storms going again, so I'm hoping this lot holds. You can actually see the screws. I haven't got to cut them off yet. And the screws on this side as well just to try and hold it all together. Excuse us, the pan looks pretty quick. Some of these are still going to be secured. But it's just been too wet because sealant won't bond in the wet. And you can actually see the temperatures. Let me just turn this a little bit. All the greenhouse. 29.2 degrees Celsius, that's maximum. That's probably... Well in here for example now, 14.6 degrees. At night time, the minimum it's dropped down to was 3.7. Let's see what the bamboo canes are starting to dry now. Let's see what the bamboo canes are starting to dry now. What's that one on here? The only thing I can actually try and do is try and save some of these potatoes, I think. If I can't save them. I'm going to have to go and buy some, whatever's left in the shops, and try and chit them. If not, I'll have to stick with these, stick with them. Oh, hang on. I did have some more, but where have I put them? Oh, hang on. Turn you back around. 
Seems like so. Disagree, whatever you pronounce them. I think these are okay. There's a few in there. Not big. Not massive. But I'll do. So, the question is, why have those rotted away? Why have some of those rotted away? These haven't. These haven't. And also, the Hitachi door things. All perfectly fine. The only thing I can think of is maybe I've had a leak in the greenhouse and it's been dripping on a few of those and water's got to them. Or I did leave these out when I did the potato reveal for Christmas potatoes. And I'm wondering whether the top few got some ice. Well, not made ice, but a bit of frost. On a good note. There's be garlic growing outside. Well, hopefully, that'll be a lesson for some, maybe. Just be careful. So, your greenhouses, don't keep them closed when there's rain. And it's damp in here. Maybe the compost bags have made it damp in here. Or, have those plants made them damp in here. Whatever it is, something's still eating the greenage by looks like and ones. It's supposed to be packed joy. Never mind. Nobody's hurt, that's the main thing. Right, as always, thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye bye.